Hi, this is Kevin. Today we will learn a faster way to multiply two numbers. Get ready for a lot of math because this is Karatsuba's algorithm. Anatoly Karatsuba is a Russian mathematician working in number theory. In 1960, at the age of 23, he discovered a faster way to multiply two numbers. He published his findings in 1962. How does it work? Well, let's take a look at the traditional way of multiplying numbers. Say you want to multiply two numbers the traditional way. How many multiplications do you actually do? How many additions? It turns out you end up with five multiplications and one addition step. That is, not counting the carry symbol. Karatsuba's algorithm performs multiplications using fewer operations, thus making it faster. Let's check it out with some numbers. So say you have two numbers, 1, 2, 3, and 45. First, split the two so they are in this form. Here is the 1, 2, 3, and here is the 45. Each number is split into two parts, and the first factor is multiplied by the same base to the same power. Now all you need to do is to fill out these three numbers. To get Z0, just multiply the first digits of the number. So in this case, that's 12 and 4. 12 times 4 makes 48. To get Z2, just multiply the last digits. So in this case, that's 3 and 5. 3 times 5 is 15. To get Z1, multiply the two parts of each digit. So that's 12 and 3 together with 4 and 5. And then subtract Z0 and Z2. Now that we have all Z0, Z1, and Z2, what we need to do is take Z0 and multiply it by the square of the power we used before. Then we take Z1 and multiply it by the same power, and then add Z2. So you get this. And if you add it all up, you get 5,535. Let's try it with another example, but faster this time. 39 times 71. So we split 39 and 71, 3 times 10 plus 9 times 7 times 10 plus 1. Z0 is 3 times 7, which is 21. Z2 is 9 times 1, which is 9. And Z1 is 3 plus 9 times 7 plus 1, minus 1, minus 9, which is 66. Then you take Z0 and multiply it by the square of the base, add it to Z1 and multiply it by the base, then add Z2. So that's 21 times 10 squared plus 66 times 10 plus 9, that gives you 2,769. Now I'll talk about how all of this works. So the math behind all of this can get a little mathy. I'll try my best to make it easy to digest. Let's dive into it. So here's how it works. Say you want to multiply two numbers, x and y. Now you can split x into x0 and x1, and b and y into y0 and y1. You can expand it out and use FOIL to fully expand out x times y. Then group the multiplication terms together and substitute it out. Convert it into z0, z1, and z2. But what's so special about this? Well, Anatoly Karatsuba discovered that z1 can be converted into x0 plus x1 times y0 plus y1 minus z2 minus z0. And we can do that because if we substitute x0 plus x1 and y0 plus y1 and then expand out the terms with FOIL, who knew FOIL would still be so useful, right? And then substitute z2 and z0 like so, you would get x0 y1 plus x1 y0, which is the same as what we started with. So going back to the original place we were at, Notice that we can solve for x times y in three multiplication steps and five addition and subtraction steps. This is more efficient than the traditional way of multiplying. We don't count multiplying b because we were just shifting zeros to the left anyway. Phew, that is a lot of math. But this is important because Karatsuba's algorithm is used by computers to multiply large numbers together. So you probably wouldn't use this to calculate your tip in a restaurant but you would probably use this method if you were multiplying a 100-digit number by another 100-digit number. 
I hope this has all been useful to you. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you had a good day and I'll see you in the next video.